hello all welcome back to TicTapture. so we'll continue from the last video where we left so in last video we have created one data flow job where we loaded a cloud storage bucket file csv file into the bigquery table now today we'll create one more data flow job so what we'll do now we will have one a cloud spanner instance and cloud spanner database so we'll try to extract the data from cloud spanner table into the gcs bucket so we'll extract the data into the csv file and we'll store into the gcs bucket so just let me show you how we can do that so what we'll do here so we have one a spanner instance so let's say this is our spanner instance and then we have to store this into a cloud storage bucket so we'll extract the data and we'll store that csv file into the storage bucket so i'll just check any one i call for storage bucket okay so i'll take this and in between we want to create a data flow job so data flow always have one source and one destination you can assume that because it will either take data from somewhere and it will load data in some destination so first it will pull the data from cloud spanner it will extract it and then data flow will store this data as a csv file into our storage bucket so this is a simple kind of data processing pipeline we'll create in a today's video so let me go to the data flow and i will use inbuilt template so i'll click on a create job and i'll just give the name as a spanner to gcs here we have to choose a template so still we are working on a batch processing so we'll move ahead with the stream processing from our next video so just see here what we can yeah so we have option here cloud spanner to text file on a cloud storage okay so now we'll first see what inputs we required and then we'll create or try to accommodate that input so here we need a cloud spanner instance database this is the project name we can give our project name or project id so we need a project id so i mentioned the project id then we need a cloud spanner database cloud spanner instance and cloud spanner table so we can create cloud spanner database and table very quickly so i'll go ahead so we already seen what is cloud spanner how to create cloud spanner database and table in our previous video so i'll quickly create that in this video so we'll give the name as df demo okay i'll just keep it minimum i don't want to waste our credit let me check yeah so i want regional and i will choose us central one yeah and i'll create so it won't take much time for spanner to create uh, instance or database or table so it is created immediately so let me go into the instance and create a database so i'll create database here so database name i'll just give as a df db so i'm just giving as a data flow so df db is my and i'll simply click on create so we need to create a table so what i will do i'll already have queries to create a table and insert the data in a google cloud documentation so i'll pick that query and i'll quickly create a table and insert data into the table because we don't want to waste time for writing queries as we already completed that in our spanner session so once i'll go here i have this query to create a single table so i'll copy it and here in query okay let me create table from here so here it can give you a syntax so here you will get syntax to create table create view create index or update statement create statement drop so you will get syntax here but i already have queries so i will quickly create this singers table and i will submit so for our next video where we will create a streaming pipelines we will use the same instance and same database 
okay so we created the table let's insert the data into the table so we have insert query also yeah so let me copy it and quickly yeah run here so i'll run here yeah three row inserted and let me see if we have data now and how many roads are there i think i missed spelling yeah we have these three records now and these three records will export in our csv file and load it into the gcs storage bucket now we have all the details so here we have df demo as the instance dfdb as our database and table name as a singers so let me go here what i'll do now i'll give uh, the instance name what is the data this should be a database so i'll give dfdb this should be instance so this will be df demo table will be singers and i will choose the storage bucket so in last video already created a storage bucket so i will use this df demo bucket and temporary location again i will just choose a temp location i will select this and give slash temp here i will just append slash temp tmp okay now all the details has been provided now let me run the job and we will monitor this job we will see if there are any errors we will try to resolve that so job is being created so here you could see the right side is still starting so it will take few seconds to change states to running yeah it's changed to running now and these are the different stages so this last stage should be successful after all the stages then only we can see the file in a storage bucket so let me go to the storage bucket meanwhile these are very simple data flow job even when i heard a data flow for a first time and i read some documentation like apache beam framework and other few example then i felt like data flow is a very difficult and i was just scared to start with the data flow but most of the our day-to-day -day tasks can be done using a inbuilt template itself okay so these are the files from our previous video so once job is completed we'll see if any new file is created in the storage bucket so here you could see the cpu is started so it created a node so job should be running now okay we got an error here so we'll see what are the errors so object names cannot be null object name must not be null or empty i think we didn't mention some of the fields so this error is not specific So it failed in a write. The job failed because the worker item has failed four items. Okay, I will try to create a job again. So I'll just clone this and we'll see if details, any of these details are missed. So this is correct this is also correct ok 
okay let me rerun and we'll see okay i have to change the name because it will not accept the same name for the job so i'll just give the name is it two okay and let me execute or create a job again so let's go to this job now okay we'll wait for this job this is still running now few of the task is completed We'll monitor it should complete now if everything is fine but still i could see one error okay we'll see what is error now select from singers empty singers is not empty i guess right we created a table in singer we created a record in singers table or some typo we are doing here let me see the data yeah we have data let me again check what we are doing wrong here okay let me check other errors also if these are the same or some different yeah same error same error same errors Okay, we'll change this to three. So I'll just keep it to cases sensitive as we have capital S there in spanner. So I'll change here also as a capital S. And now try to run. Okay, now go to view details and we'll monitor this instance. So we can get such kind of failures or permission issue. We have to just look out for that error and we have to troubleshoot that. So it's not necessary that you should get everything successful in a first instance. This is started now. We'll monitor this instance okay now first few tasks are succeeded now it was failing on this read records and this step is successful now we'll see it will be successful this time so now it is writing trying to write into the storage bucket yeah so this is completed successfully now let me go to the storage bucket so here currently we have these four files or folders or object we can say let me refresh and if anything new is created here yes we have one file here now we just created i will see if it is having that three record from the singles table i will open this file yeah you could see it is having these three records in our file so we extracted the data from cloud spanner to the gcs bucket file using a data flow template so in next video we'll start with the streaming jobs and we'll see the example of cloud spanner chain data capture and how we can load the cdc data or change data capture stream data into the bigquery using the streaming job so we'll see you in the next video 
so one more thing guys here so i thought of first uh, deleting this video and creating new one as i had a couple of failures here but i think it's a new learning every time we are creating how uh, we can troubleshoot that so i am uploading the original video only so you can learn from this mistake i have made so first mistake i had to give the slash after the bucket name and second i thought i can give the table name as a small or a capital it can be done in mysql or our sql server database but here i had to give it in the same case sensitive format in spanner it was capital s for singers so in parameters also while creating data flow job i had to give a capital s for singers then only it got successful so just keep a note of that things whenever you are working on the data flow job or any kind of data pipeline in gcp so thank you for watching this video